Right. Test testing the loading mechanism now. Okay. So first of all, that rises, pulls out the empty shell, goes down, loads that, prepares the, prepares the shot, shell back in there, prepares the loader, loads it, moves the loader, does that. Test to get now. Fire. Well, no, I like having a long, I like having a long, long gun. Uh, anyway, so why is this not? Wait, what? Why is... Oh. That's concerning. Bench, two. Okay, well I don't know why that's doing that. That's that. I'm an absolute imbecile. You see, this is what happens when I can't see any of the wiring. Right, so that, yeah, that's the on mechanism. Don't ask about the large holes, I was feeling a bit, uh, I was feeling a bit fruity and decided to commit a war crime. Now I've just made even more questions. Right. Okay. Now, the actual test run. Let's see. Okay, it's, um... You know what, it would probably be easier to just fix this by, uh... There we go. Now. Oh wait, I can easily fix that just by uh... I'll get my Now if you're wondering why I am not using the uh, create redstone capabilities, it's because they don't work on these sorts of contra on contraptions because pain. And I just remembered the time to So I've linked the activation system to the thing that sets up the ramp that moves the ram rod into place. Right, okay. Let's try that again then, shall we? Okay, it's moving down to load. None of this proved to be a problem earlier. Should be a problem now. Okay, that just looks to be a visual bug. I'm going to back up the world quickly to a separate backup point in case this goes wrong. Be back in a jiffy. Fire. Yes! It 
works. Now, as you can see, it's moving that out of the way. It's moving that out of the way, destroying the old cartridge. Loading it back in. Loads that. And... Yes! It works! Oh, look, some civilians I could blow up! <laughs> this is great. This is... This is great. Okay, so... Steering's a bit finicky. I haven't added in a vertical aiming system yet, so... Um, well, I don't expect that to be anything that I can play easily, and... Uh, shouldn't be that hard, too hard, that hard to make, right? Right. So, you've got two control facilities here. This one, and the one up top. Hopefully, I can build an entire steering system. Oh, so this is the engine. It's loud. Really loud. Right, uh, let's see, how much stress have I got left? Yeah, 7,000 should be enough. Right, okay, so, uh, let's see what can I do with it. Uh, Oh no, they're getting away. They are probably going to get away, so I'll probably have to pull in some nice tests. I am so getting arrested for this. Right. So. One thing I'm slightly worried about is uh, how this may take up more space than I want it to. And also I can't pick blocks that easily, but top the blocks here are, aren't actually blocks. That you no, that's a that's an actual problem. It's just that some of the blocks don't actually. Can I find an example? The, the, this weird visual bug where no, that that's a real one. Let me just fly. In. Oh wait, I know where I can find some over here. Some of the uh, wait this. Yeah, that exists. There's. Except it does oh, that as well. Anyway. Okay. Right, so that's a safety hazard, because as soon as I fire that, that's going to blow up the entire cannon. And I would prefer that, that I would, I prefer it, I prefer my cannons not explode. So, to fix that, we are going to do what, what the cool kids call, Aha! Anyway, so there's two things I need. A clutch and a gear shift. And for anyone who is actually bothered to watch this cluster of the up, probably already knows what these two got. My main concern is the front as you can tell. Right, we're gonna need to pull some strange moves. Turns of 
that. Okay, yeah, that's cool enough. Now we need to get ourselves two steerinators. Uh, let's put the weapon of mass destruction in there. You. What? No. You. You. There. And there. Okay. So this one is going to be moved in one direction and uh, moved down. Busy, busy down. And you, kind sir, are going to be some moving up. Now, if I can get both of you. And a ton. Here, here, I will realize that this also. Here, here. Now, if I get myself a lever. Yeah, sure. These will do. Click you. As we can see, our cannon has switched to anti-air mode. And as we can see there, the cannon has decided. Oof. Yeah. Because the cannon is at max speed, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's turning too fast. Right, fix that. We're going to use some big boys. Now, if anyone places a shaft there, the entire machine will spontaneously combust. I'm in immense agony. Right. So. Now, I just have to connect you two. That way. If I do that, that, this should hopefully reduce the turning limit from smashing a turret into the wall. Now, let's see. Now let's install a version of this top side, because I think we can all agree that having a aiming thing for the turret where we can't see where it aims is pretty useless. And by top, and I've got no actual room to put it. Well that's fun. Uh, <laughs> Oof. This is only so I can... I'm an absolute nonce. I've forgotten that I... So... Okay, now this should work. Maybe.
Okay, was that the wrong one? That was the gear shift. That was the gear shift. We do this. So now, if I Q and okay, I am proving to be very incompetent at this. I've got to get rid of you. Right, okay, naming system shouldn't be this hard to assemble, unless if you're an absolute swear word like me. Right, let's see where can I put it. You know what? Door. This is the most awkward aiming system you will have ever seen. But I ain't got the space. Now, why aren't you going back? That's moving you up. Ah. Okay, so this of course is not the most ideal of aiming systems, but it works. Yeah, it works. It works. That's nice. Anyway, that was my cam. Are you leading to the sun? That that was my cannon. Uh, thank thanks for watching and subscribe unless if you want to end up like. That tree over there, which I can't see because the aiming system is um, screwing with it. Like that tree over there. I'm going to look away before we can realize that the tree has survived. Uh, goodbye. Okay.